Hey everyone, Selwyn here from Wintering. Uh, on today's quick training tip video, I wanted to talk about the overhead press. Uh, and one quick trick that's helped me press a little bit more over the last couple of years now. Um, and it's when to breathe during the press. Now, ideally you're breathing um, at the top of the press at lockout. You don't really wanna be uh, breathing here because it's akin to breathing at the bottom of a squat. Uh, now, you're doing like a pause squat or breathing squats or something like that, totally different story. But So for a regular overhead press, um, before you unrack the weight, that's when you wanna take in that big breath. So you wanna um, set up under the barbell, take a deep breath, and then step out. And as soon as you can, get ready, and then push the weight up, and then back down again, and back up, and back down again. Ideally, you can get maybe one or two reps on the single breath. Uh, if not, after that first push up, uh, when you're locked out and stabilized, that's when you want to take in that quick exhale, inhale. Um, you don't want to be uh, releasing any of that pressure uh, as the weight lowers or as you push the weight up because that's just going to be a more another way for that power to leak out of the press when you're pushing up. Um, this can lead to some lightheadedness at first when you're trying to get used to it, especially under um, either high rep sets or really heavy uh, sets, uh, something I personally experienced for like quite a while. Um, and you just kind of get used to it, your body kind of adapts to that uh, lack of blood to the head. Uh, again, not a doctor, so that's something that worries you or you should be concerned about because of some underlying medical conditions. Definitely see a doctor before you do any of these, uh, do any sort of holding your breath, the Valsalva maneuver as they call it, which is just simply holding your breath under a load. Um, but if you notice with any other lift, you're not exhaling or inhaling or letting go of that breath when you're at the hardest part of the lift. So whether that be the bottom of a squat, the bottom of a bench press, um, when you're lifting the deadlift off the floor, all of those, your breath is held at that point. Now, the overhead press is kind of different because the bottom of the, when the re weight is resting on your shoulders, that's going to be the hardest part of your lift. When your arms are up high, that's going to be somewhat the easiest part of the lift because everything's locked out, everything's stabilized, and everything's solid up there. Try it uh, yourself with a light weight. Um, and you can see for yourself, even simply trying to take a deep breath when your hands are up here with a load on you, it's going to be a lot better because everything is stretched out. Whereas when that weight comes down, everything starts compressing down on your chest and abdomen. Um, and it's, it's really hard to get in a, a deeper breath under load when you're down here than when you, if you're up there. So hopefully that helps you with your overhead press. Um, this has been Selm from Wind Strength. And remember, better life through strength.